people who get it, get it. This is the Geek Speak Radio Show. This is the show where you hear everything geek culture. Well, I haven't noticed we've been sharing our culture with you all morning. Get ready to speak geek. And here we go. This is the Geek Speak Radio Show. God bless the geek. Thank you. Feel better already. <laughs> So here we go, new week, new show, welcome to Geek Speak Radio Show, and on the phone, old friend of the show, like I said, David Glanzer, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for Comic-Con International. David, welcome back to the Geek Speak hey, Radio Show. thanks for having me back. It's always, it's always great to talk to you guys. Yeah, no problem. Um, so, again, I told you off the air, I'll say it again, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Boy, I tell you, turning 29 is amazing. <laughs> Especially when you've done it 10 times, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Christine, I'm shaking my fist right now. Experience, baby. I've been 25 <laughs> 10 times already. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It keeps getting better. <laughs> yeah, it works for me. Um, so anyway, big thing that's happening, like I said, uh, this coming weekend, April 1st. The links are up on GeeksBigGreatestShow.com. For those of you who haven't gotten your passes, I don't know why not. What are you waiting for? Um, that's enticing to go in there. So David, tell us a little bit about the guests and the panels and everything we can expect at this year's WonderCon. You know, uh, WonderCon is one of my favorite shows. I mean, it, believe it or not, it was one of my favorite shows before we became involved because it, it, San Francisco just has a, a nice, friendly vibe anyhow, and that really transfers over to um, to WonderCon. Uh, and last year, you know, we really kind of just, I don't know what happened, just kind of took off. And this year, I mean, if you go to our website, it's just an amazing array of guests, not only from comics, but movies, television, and yeah, you know, if, if you're on the fence about going, I'd suggest you go to the website now and and buy your tickets. There's a, um, a discount for uh, in advance uh, ticket purchases, and you know we're going to have uh, Ryan Reynolds is going to be there Friday with uh, some of the cast from mm. uh, the movie, and uh, Robert Kirkman is going to be there. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I couldn't get past Ryan Reynolds. I'm sorry with his digital with his digitally added suit. Right, he will not be shirtless for his panel. I'm assuming. Uh, you know, we, we don't know. No, okay. After all, what the, what, isn't the isn't the isn't the uh, uniform like uh, CGI? So who knows? It is. I know. I'm, is there somebody I can slip a twenty to make to make that happen? You'd be the one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I have a, I can't maybe a 40. Anything, times are hey, tough. You know, I'll have 20 bucks for a drink uh, Friday night. Exactly. There's a recession on. Um, and, yeah. and one incentive that we should mention is that if pe- for people who are deterred by maybe like, because Comic-Con is so, is this X number of times bigger than WonderCon, <laughs> yeah. the tickets are a lot more expensive. The tickets for these for a three-day pass is 40 bucks if you get it in right. advance. It's amazing. The value is fantastic. I have a question specifically about... Because you've been doing this for how many years? How many years have you been uh, programming <laughs> for these guys? Uh, I've been with them as uh, starting as a volunteer since 1984. So I was three at the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so who is your who is your dream get for WonderCon? Like somebody that has just evaded you up until this point? You know, it, it's <clears throat> pardon me. It, it's hard to say because there have been we, we've been really lucky in getting some amazing guests. And, and a long time ago, I decided, you know what? Um, I'm going to be happy with who we get. I know that sounds cheesy and like a cop-out, but in terms of like comics crossover to films, I mean, we've been lucky enough to have Tobey Maguire at the show, uh, Christian Bale at the show. Um, uh, uh, Henry C- Cavill is going to be there this, this year for, uh, I think, Immortals, who's the new Superman. Um, J.J. Abrams Mark- was there. Sorry? J.J. Abrams was there in the cast of Star yeah, Trek. Exactly, yeah. We had... Um, you know, it's funny, we had the cast from uh, Star Trek, the, the new uh, relaunch of the movie at WonderCon. They didn't even come to Comic-Con. So WonderCon really has been like, you're right, you know, it, it, Comic-Con is this, is this huge, fun event that's sold out, and, and it's crazy, crazy. WonderCon is like this really big little secret. I think people who know about it get in, have a good time, a lot more intimate, but there's still a lot of people there, and just really amazing guests. Well, and is it is it your goal eventually? Obviously, for monetary purposes, yes. But is it your personal goal? Do you want WonderCon to blow up the way Comic Con has? It is. I, it's about a quarter of the size, right? It is, and I, and I don't think so. And I'll tell you why. I don't think that. I don't think we ever expected Comic Con to be as big as it is. Um, we certainly never. That was never our intention. But you know, more people started having fun. People would bring their friends. It just it just grew exponentially. One of the worst worst tasks we have to face is the fact that we sell out 
you know, you never want to be in a situation where you have a really cool show. Granted, you have 130,000 people there, but there's still other people who can't get in. One of the cool things about WonderCon is we have room to grow. They can still come. Last year we had just shy of 40,000 people, which is a really impressive size show. But even with 40,000 people, it still has a really nice, intimate atmosphere. I think the show will probably grow by by a few thousand, but I don't think it'll ever rival San Diego. And I do want to start calling it San Francisco WonderCon, since they call it San Diego Comic Con over there. Not a bad idea. Yeah, there you go. So we're talking to David Glanzer, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for Comic Con International. We're going to continue the conversation with David in just a few minutes. I have not a complaint, just an observation on something new that WonderCon is doing, the website is doing. You guys can go on there, geekspeakbetashow.com. There's something on there this year that I'm having trouble with. We'll talk about that when we come back. The Geek Speak Radio Show will be right back. 